The analysts say Mike Pence and Tim Kaine are almost complete opposites when it comes to their positions. And of course, both candidates also have to attack the other's running mate while defending his own. Here with me is Beth Reinhardt, the national politics reporter for The Wall Street Journal, a publication that is our corporate cousin. Nice to see you. Yes, thanks for having what, me. What, I, I keep hearing that each of these men has a huge task ahead that they must fill in the blank. What is it? Well, you know, we like to raise the stakes for we these do. things. <laughs> to make them watch. <laughs> in the long run, I'm not sure that this will be no. a game-changing moment, but it's an important moment. You never know what Trump might live tweet. <laughs> like, anything. <laughs> That's true. In fact, more people may be watching Trump tweeting than the debate That's itself. Awful. That may be more entertaining. But, yes, these are the running mates. They have uh, to defend their top of the ticket. In Mike Pence's case, there you could argue there's more to defend. Trump has made a lot of... Uh, controversial statements in the last few weeks. Um, there was the revelation about his taxes that I, I think is likely to come up. Uh, likely, um, yes. And, um, you know, Tim Kaine also has a job to do in, in terms of defending the baggage that Hillary Clinton carries. Um, but they also have to make the case for themselves, you know, why they should be, um, you know, the closest to uh, the, the presidency. And this is also for them about their political futures. Um, I think, you know. Well, that's tricky for Mike Pence. If you hear it from a traditional establishment Republicans, there, there are a certain number of people who later, if this doesn't go well, are going to have to be there to begin this thing anew. And there are many people who at least believe that Mike Pence, Paul Ryan, a few others might, might be on that list. But you got to play the game right to be able to still stand later, don't you? Right. And I would say both of these candidates so far have done a, a pretty good job of that, of you know, maintaining their, their independence profile um, while being a loyal defender of, their, uh, of the person on the top of the ticket. Pence has picked up a lot of pieces. When it was seen by the establishment and, and maybe others and supporters of Trump that maybe he said or did some things that were untoward, it was Mike Pence who came in and cleaned it up. He, he was playing, he has played clean up quite a bit. He's also played the role of sort of a quiet ambassador behind the scenes, meeting with people who um, Donald Trump has offended to try to smooth over those ruffled feathers. And tonight, as he gets going, one thing that his supporters and everyone else knows about Donald Trump is that he very much enjoys the limelight. And a moment out of it, I think back to Chris Christie and the endorsement. I, you, you wonder how that's going to fly, you know? This, this is sort of an odd position for Donald Trump to be in. He, he is not on camera tonight, Oof. but um, like you said, his presence will certainly be felt in the hall. Tim Kaine and, 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 and Mike Pence are really diametrically opposed politically. E each is an establishment figure within his own right, within his own party. And I wonder how much of their task is to uphold establishment traditions and, and sort of right the two ships, as it were. Well, that task is definitely more challenging for, for Mike Pence yeah. because Donald Trump um, has obviously strayed from party orthodoxy on a number of issues, trade, taxes, foreign policy. And so it'll be interesting to see how Governor Pence navigates those gaps. It, 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 is, there a, is there a sense from talking with the campaigns and from the reporting within the journal and beyond of what the campaigns have said versus what the establishment might be pushing for. I guess on the Democratic side, those might be similar, but on the Republican, they might be different. Well, this this is Trump's Republican Party, I think, right now, at least for the next 30 some days. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm not sure what happens. We'll but see. for now, uh, Trump's philosophy is, is the one on the ballot. And and that's the only philosophy that that it that takes that is involved in this throw down in Farmville tonight. I think so. I mean, I, I don't think Governor Pence is going to be asked to talk about policies that his you know, he's not going to defend policies that his running right. mate doesn't doesn't support. I'm kind of pumped. <laughs> I love it here. Sure. The Chamber of Commerce ordered up a day from heaven. I love couldn't ask for better oh, weather. It's amazing. Very nice. Beth Reinhardt from The Wall Street Journal and WSJ.com. Thank you.